Hello everyone. No, I can't do that. That was cringy. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're seeing this, welcome back to the channel. Also, lighting and sound may be different because I've got windows open, curtains open. This is natural lighting right now. So, first things first, how's that? Let me know about that. I don't normally film during the day. This is probably going to be a pretty short video. I've just got a few things that I wanted to say, that I wanted to share with the world. First of all, I'd just like to say thank you so, so much for all the support that I got on last week's video. I was pretty terrified about uploading it, but the response, it was just like, it was so positive and so supportive and it just made me really happy. I've had like quite a few messages since then of people, like some people saying, uh, I've had some friends saying that it's helped them come to terms with the way they feel about some things and I've actually grown closer to a few people. Uh, through being able to talk about stuff that I've never really spoke about before. I gotta shut that window. There's too much background noise. Uh, I might get a bit warm, but oh well. If I if I burn up and die, someone tell my mum that I love her. Yeah, I even I've had a friend reach out to me who I've not spoken to in like five years uh, because of that video, saying that she saw it and it's made her think about a lot of stuff. So that's that's been really good. On that video, I feared it getting a bad reception. I hoped for a good reception. And what I got was just absolutely overwhelming. So thank you a lot for all that. It's been so helpful in like giving me confidence to talk about stuff like that more often. Uh, not necessarily in a video, but just sort of in general to people. Anyway, cheesy blah blah stuff out the way. I'm going to go on to what I really wanted to talk about. Just to clarify, we are currently experimenting with how to show content in the subs feed. We find that some viewers are able to more easily find the videos they want to watch when we order the subs feed in a personalised order versus always showing most recent videos first. YouTube is screwing with us again! You know what? Back when they demonetised us all, that was fine, I was okay with that. I wasn't making any money anyway, and that's not why I make videos, even if I was making money. So, I was fine with that. Then they messed around with the homepage a little bit. They rearranged everything so that your subscriptions didn't appear on the homepage. Instead, it was recommended videos by YouTube itself. Your subscriptions got put into a separate page, got put into a subs box, where you can go to that and see all your subscriptions there. You know what, that was a bit annoying because, you know, it's not like, any of the smaller creators are going to end up in the recommended section just randomly but I was okay with it I think because at least we've still got that subs box at least we're still there in all our glory and if someone clicks on there there we are it's all completely fine we're still safe in the subs box right YouTube right YouTube wrong it looks like YouTube now want to do the same thing to the subs box as they did to the home page and sort of control what goes where and I can sort of see where they're coming from they put the most uh, popular creators they put the like all the big youtubers they put them up at the top because that's what brings in the most audience I mean they've said it's going to be personalized which would suggest that we have some input in what is on our sub boxes but I just I can't shake this feeling that it's all just another way for YouTube to control what content goes where and who gets featured. You see, the great thing about the subs box is that everyone in there has the same amount of space. If someone was, for example, subscribed to me and let's say PewDiePie, and um, me and PewDiePie uploaded a video within five minutes of each other, those two videos, despite having, despite me having 230 subscribers and PewDiePie having 51 million, or is it 60 now, I'm not even sure, those two videos would appear next to each other, like regardless, because that's, what the subs box does, it orders it in terms of time rather than in terms of subscribe, like size of the channel. In this example, the change would most likely put PewDiePie's video up at the top and move my video further down. It's basically just another way for YouTube to control what content it wants you to see, which is fine if it's doing it to moderate the bad content. And I don't mean like subjectively bad videos that people don't like. I mean the objectively bad content. Like a while ago when there was all those videos of like ISIS beheadings and stuff going around. That's fine if you want to moderate that. But it's not doing that. It's just promoting the bigger channels that in all honesty don't need promoting at this point. I've already heard from quite a lot of like fellow creators who uh, have, have, have spoke about their views dropping quite a lot in the last week or so. And admittedly, yes, I know a lot of creators aren't in it just for the views and the numbers. 
like they they make content because they enjoy making it that's one of the main reasons that i do it it's just really disheartening that youtube itself the platform that we all enjoy using so much seems to be actively working against smaller creators i'm going to name drop two people now who have both made points that i agree with to an extent first is jim white aka jimbo shreds he made a post saying that this change, if it goes through, is gonna sort of weed out all the creators that are only in it for the views. When the numbers start dropping, uh, the creators that are only in it to see those numbers go up, they'll sort of like drop out as well. They won't have the motivation to carry on making content once the numbers start going down. That's gonna leave only the people who are genuinely dedicated and committed to making good content and uploading because they enjoy what it is that they're doing. I am paraphrasing, but I do agree with what he said, uh, which is like the bottom line of it is that when this new change comes fully into play, after like a little adjustment period, the only thing that will be left is content that people have worked hard on rather than the lazily made content by people who are just in it for the numbers. I think that makes sense. And from that perspective, it could be a good thing. Like I said before, I do agree with both points to an extent. The other side of it, the other side of my thinking comes from a video that was uploaded a while ago, a completely unrelated video that went up before any of this change was even mentioned, uh, uploaded by Chauvinism, who said that on YouTube especially, people seem to be afraid of having aspirations. It had nothing to do with everything that's going on now, but I do think it's worth mentioning. I do think it's a good point in relation to this. And I myself had to admit that he had a point because I can hold my hands up and say that I have been worried about talking about my aspirations with YouTube because I sometimes feel like it's a bit looked down on if someone says that they want their videos to make money. I'm not just gonna flat out copy his video. I'll, I'll, again, I'll paraphrase what he said and what I thought about it. It's okay to want to make a career out of YouTube. It's okay for that to be the end goal. Will it ever happen for me? I don't know. The odds are against me, especially now. But that's just gonna make me keep fighting even harder. What's bad and what should be looked down upon is when people are only in it to make money. I will leave a link to Chauvinism's video down in the description so you can go and take a look at that for yourself and see what you thought of that. I lie somewhere in the middle of both points when it comes to my opinion. I'm somewhere between both. Like Jim said, uh, the change will weed out the creators whose hearts aren't in it and it will push who's left to be to make the best content that they can but on the other side of that it does still hurt those aspirations to have yet another obstacle between you and your goal like i say i'm somewhere in the middle but if i had to weigh in on one side or another uh i'd definitely be against it against this whole change thing i like it as it is i like the idea that the subs box is like a fur ground for any creator like you saw before youtube have said that the change would make it easier for viewers to find the content that they want to watch but I thought that's the whole point of the subs box anyway, is that the people in the subs box are people you subscribe to. And the reason that you subscribe to them is because it's what you want to watch. Isn't that the whole point of the subscribe button? Speaking of, go ahead and click that one down there. Definitely give this video a thumbs up. I'm um, just for that smooth ass segue alone. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this whole thing. It'll be it'll be interesting to have a discussion with other creators and just general viewers to see what's going on, to see what they think about it all. Thanks a lot for watching guys and I will see you guys with another video next week. See ya.